Just um, hold, hold the rose a little bit further away from your face, will you? Yes, that's good. And, uh, and your hand up there like that, and uh, and and direct your gaze about uh, about here, will you? No, 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 up up there. Yes, that's not uh, not bad. Let's have a look at that. No, that's no good at all. Ooh. It's all right, it's not your fault. I know it is, and what expression do you want? Just, just, just natural. <sighs> just, just relax, will you? Hey, that's not bad. No, that's not, not bad at all. Yes, that's a better tone. You see, it's, it's sensitive and, and delicate, right? Now, you just... Hold that there for about five seconds, will you? Come on, I'm freezing. Never mind freezing, just keep absolutely still now. Right. And one, and two, and... What deal do you think you're oh, playing Oh, it's at? all a load of old tosh, Thomas. Oh, you think so, You're thinking of all no one, least of all the judges of the competition. If you want a society beauty, you go out and find one. I'm going to cook the dinner. You're just walking out on me, are you? It's true, people want all these arty gabbins. Well, you're wrong, as it happens. Realism isn't the fashion at the moment. It, it's a poetic vision of the truth. That's what wins prizes nowadays. Holy ox. You think you know better, do you? I'll tell you what I do know, Thomas Watkins. We've been stuck in this dump you call a studio for the past three months. We're seven weeks behind with the rent. We've pawned nearly everything we possess, and all because of that contraption there. Now, if she don't start paying her way soon, we're going to be out on our uppers. Just keep your voice down, will you? I don't want that leech of in here and us quarrelling about money. Look, I know. Tom, I know it's our business to get into. You get doors slammed in your face, you get your plates smashed, but dressing me up ain't the answer. You've got to think of something different, find a new approach. Well, thank you very much for your encouragement. I don't need a new approach, I just need an entree, that's all. And this competition in the Daily Mail was supposed to do that. Ten pound first prize and a guaranteed interview with a features editor. All you need is a photograph, which I thought I had until ten minutes ago. I'll tell you what, if you want my opinion, I think the public's sick of all these knobs and duchesses and newspapers. Want a bit of sensationalism. Murder or something. Me strangled in a tub. What the hell are you talking about? I'm going to bath round here. I mean, I mean, that's an obvious fake, isn't it? It's not in very good taste. What the hell is this, anyway? Pea soup, your dinner, my old Dutchman. Is this the best you can manage? You got any complaints? You see the master. Well, it's, it's not bad as it happens. Oh, thank you very much. Take some of your medicine, Tom. <laughs> What's the title of this competition, then? My most unforgettable face. All right, then. After dinner, we'll go out and find one. Find one what? Unforgettable mug. Must be playing him on the streets. What, in this weather? The camera will get ruined. You know, how rough it is round here. It'll get pinched or broken. I nearly lost it when I was trying to snap goals down at Clapton Orient on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, I know. That's where you got that cough and all. No, I mean, down in Irving's shop. Plenty of them there, poor miserable buggers. No, no, they want anonymity. They don't want their face splashed all over the Daily Mail. They'd cover up. It's, it's glamour your reader wants, not misery. Not always, Tom. That's where you're wrong, see. It's only human nature to want to see someone in a worse plight than what you are. Hey, you know something? 
You might be right there. I've got an idea. There was this woman down in the shop last week, about my age. Irving said she'd just been widowed. Now, if we could find her, her face told a story. Thomas, this is not what I meant. There's no time to find the real thing. The deadline for the competition is 12 noon tomorrow. What about the truth? Fake it. That's where the skill is, you see. It's the poetic vision. You'll have to bring me something out soon. I can't lend any more on them. They're worn out. What do you want on them? Half a crown. I'll give you threepence. Oh, dear, dear. Make it a tanner. I'm too kind for this profession. Only us, Mr. Irving. Sorry, uh, Mr. Irving. Another photographic session. So, sorry. Oi, Tom! Let's put your boots in the window. Never mind the boots. Get a move on. Hey, I'll do it. Hey, you, go on, on your way. Right. Let's put a bit more dirt on your face, just here. Hold on there. Come on, Tom, I'm perishing. And we'll just pull your hair down a bit more. Yes, you see, what you ought to be doing is selling something, like a box of matches or some primroses or some. Hang on, just a minute. Here, sweetheart, lend the bread, will you? Come here. No, it's all right. You'll get it. Right, hold the bread. And put your, put your hands out towards the camera, right? And plead with your eyes. And if you mess about this time, I'll keep you here till midnight. Tom! Hey, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, great, it's raining now. Just a minute, stay there, because it'll help the shot. Just stay absolutely still, will you? I don't move. That's great. That's all you're getting? I've got a photo for my most unforgettable face competition. Oh, well, he's not here. Oh, the features editor. I don't know where he is. It's not lunchtime, is it? Oh, I'll take it. Oh, ta. Have you got a lot of entries? Yes, quite a few. Is he all right? Yes. It... Tom? Hey, Tom, you're burning. Oh, no, not in here. What's the matter with him? Is he having a fit? No, I don't think so. Look, could you get him a glass of water? He looks like he ought to be in hospital. Look, try and get him to his feet. I can't. Husband child. Yeah. He's gonna be all right, isn't he? He collapsed at the offices of the Daily Mail. It's only a little chill. No. 
must put on time. and angels. No, it's nuns. Nurses. Forget you neither, Tom. Never. You must come away now. I ain't gonna snuff it, is he? Pop off. We shall do our best for him. Come now. He needs his rest. Place your trust in God, child. Yes, I will. But couldn't the doctor see him at all? Boys. What's all this congealing on my desk? Uh, it's the competition, sir. What oh, competition? The My Most Unforgettable Face competition. The best photo from the readers. Get rid of them. Pardon? I can't sort through all this lot. I've got work to do. Yes, sir. Look, take them all into your office. Single me out half a dozen. Half a dozen? But there's hundreds. I can see that. You want me to select, Mr. Warboyles? I don't care who bloody selects. Get them off my desk. something to live for. Well, you got me, Tom. We ain't done it after things yet. After things we planned and talked about. Tom. Tom, we ain't been to America yet. You gotta unpack it in without going to America. The Statue of Liberty, Wall Street. The Hudson River. It's all there waiting for you, Tom. Life's waiting for you. Come on, Tom. We ain't even got on the bus yet. Come on, no. 
So tell the truth. No. No, you never have. Was that you are then? Mountains. Like, uh, uh, I've been there. I've been in mountains. And I go. I go back and No, Was he your husband? My third. Some people are born unlucky. Yours as well, dear. No, mine ain't dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Only they said they expected another one to go with my Amos in the night. <sighs> Frankly, dear, I don't want to worry you, but I don't think they could cure a kipper in this place. Once you're in, there's usually only one way out. My first husband died of the unmentionables. He was a sailor. I was 25. My second one, coming here to have his tonsils done, died of the complaint of the man next to him. Yeah, caught some germs off him. Still, I suppose they do their best. Oh, no, thank you, dear. You give them to charity. Well, they're no use to me, are they? Never mind, dear. If the worst comes to the worst, you'll find people are very accommodating when they see the black. Yes, you get seats on the buses and men raise their hats to you in the park. Free bits of meat from the butcher. You know, little things like that. Soon puts the colour back in your cheeks. Then before you can say Jack Robinson, you're starting the whole thing all over again. Well, anyway, that's been my experience. Oh, well, I suppose I'd better go. Bye-bye, dear. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's most kind. Oh. Oh, no, I couldn't accept that. Well, if you insist. Thank you. My husband. He was a photographer. He was a motor mechanic. Actually, he was an explorer. He died of Berry Berry. Who is it? Get your driving. <clears throat> what can I do for you, Mr. Irving? All alone, are you? Yeah. Oh, I've come for the rent. Oh. Oh, is it Friday already? Oh. I'm afraid I can't let you have much this week, Mr. Irving. I'm a bit short. My husband's dangerously ill down in the infirmary. Ill? Yeah, double pneumonia. I saw him yesterday. I know. It come on all of a sudden, like he collapsed at the offices of the Daily Mail. Oh. Look, if you don't believe me, Mr. Irving, you go down there and see for yourself. I was with him all last night with the nuns giving him final benedictions and Ave Marias and Ave Dirtches. All night long, honest, Mr. Irving. Well, as you know, I'm not an hard man, Mrs. Watkins. Kindness has often been said to be my weakness, especially where the ladies are concerned. No disrespect intended. None taken. But business is business, you know, and you're an option beneath the eyeballs as it Mr. is. Mr. Irving, you've got practically everything we possess except the photographic equipment, and I'm on my honour not to dispose of that. You respect his wishes, don't you? 
Look, you can throw me out on the street if you want. I'm completely defenceless. I'll forget the battery, ain't you, Omi? And I'll lend you two weeks in advance on this. I would rather you have my reputation. How much? Two weeks. Till he gets on his feet. That's more than generous. Oh, come on, Mr. Earl. What good is it to you? Oh, it's worth more than that. Ten quid he paid for it nearly. Take it or leave it. Three weeks, Mr. Irving, then. Some of me personal things about me. Me pots and me jewellery. Oh, go on, Mr. Irving. I may have to make a new life for myself, and I... I need a bit of a leg up. What's that? The winner. What out? The competition. My most unforgettable face. The poor young widow of Beckham. Made me cry. Makes me vomit. Or I print it. You're getting a good bargain here, Mr. Irving. Why, the old Tony Hill shop, that will. I'll have to get it out before he comes back, though, or he'll skin me alive. I'm too kind for this profession. Good morning, Mr. Irving. Oh, good morning. Thank you. Mr. Irving, it's people like you makes this world go round. Oh, just a minute. There's one for Watkins from the Daily Mail. a competition. Please call and collect £10 and see the features editor at your earliest convenience. Yahoo! Oh! I knew he'd win it. I'll have to go down to the infirmary and tell him. This'll perk him up if nothing else will. Hey, what about all this? I'll collect it later. And the camera. Here. Tottenham Hotspur's goalie, Lunn. You know him, Lunn. Well, he's a neighbour of mine. Neighbour. I'll tell you a joke about him. The chap in the pub says to me, what do you think of Lund, he says. Don't you think he's a bit on the short side for a goalie, says this fella? Well, I don't know about that, I says. But I'll tell you this, he come round my house one morning and asked to borrow me ladder. <laughs> Tom? <laughs> Thomas? Tom! Do you know me? Don't look too chipper, do we? Nasty colour. You'd be better off talking to me, missus. Off a dooley. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? I saw... saw the gates of heaven last night. No, don't. That's all great infirmary. You've been seeing them nuns again. One of them had a beautiful face. And was calling to me. Yeah. Well, you'll have to leave her alone, won't you? Listen, Tom. I've got good news. We've won the prize. Prize? For my most unforgettable face competition. Don't you remember? Look, I put four copies of the Daily Mail here. You can pass them round and show people. Yeah, can I have a decker? Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's right. Don't let yourself go a bit. Oh, you daft old toothbrush. You took that. It's a simulation. I took it. Yes, don't you remember? The poor young widow of Peckham, you, eh? Yeah, good, isn't it? You read what it says. Our competition. Designed to explore the complexities of the human visage has brought forth an overwhelming response. Chosen from thousands, ours was Tom. A picture to tug at the art strings. My Tom took that. <laughs> First prize, ten quid. Oh, don't just sit there chatting. Go and collect it. Uh, 
she's Mrs. Watkins, most unforgettable. I'm not asking who she is. I'm asking who put her in my office. I did, Mr. Walboys. How many times have I got to tell you about it? I am not an annex of Charing Cross Stage. Well, where else was I supposed to put her? I mean, home news, foreign news, sport. None of them want her. Right, right. Calm down. Uh, Mrs. Watkins. Yes. Uh, wife of the Watkins who took this picture. Yeah, that's right. You've uh, come for the prize. I could become himself. Oh, my husband's dangerously ill, Mr. Warboys. He's down in infirmary. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it, but how do we know you are who you say you are? I can't just hand out money to anybody who walks into my office. Oh, well, I brought the photo in. She'll tell you. Yes, she did. He collapsed here in your office, Mr. Warboys. We had to fetch a doctor. Is that true? Where was I, Violet? I don't know, Mr. Warboys. You weren't here. I deduce that. Look, that's me in the photo, if you want proof. You're her? Yeah. Couldn't you tell? I see. Fake, was it? Oh, wow, that's the skill of it, isn't it? I mean, all photography's a bit of a fake, isn't it? I mean, look, you take her, Marchioness of Porter Down. You can't tell me she hasn't been touched up. You see, with photography, it's not a truth, is it? It's, it's a poetic vision of the truth. Well, that's what I think, anyway. I see. Know about photography, do you? Oh, well, living my husband, and he's a photographer. Oh, your husband, eh? He's uh, not a professional by any chance, is he? Only the best in the business. Then he's disqualified. Eh? Open to amateurs only. The rules of the competition are perfectly clear. Oh, no. No, I don't mean he earns his living at it. What I meant was that his, his skill is on a par with the professionals. As obviously you agree with, otherwise you wouldn't have chose his photo. And if I was you, Mr. Warboys, I'd snap him up right away and give him a job on your staff, because he's, he's considering a couple of offers from other newspapers, you see? Yes, thank you, Mrs. Watkins. I don't need you to tell me my job. Uh, shall I give her the money? I suppose you'll have to. Just a minute, Mr. Warboys. This is a nationwide competition we've won. I didn't expect champagne and caviar, but I did expect a civil word and a handshake. All I've had out of you, mate, is rudeness. Now, that photograph may have been a fake when it was took, but it's come damn near coming true this past couple of days. There's a real human story for you. Not that you'd know one from a pig's ear. Now, if you just give me the money, I won't waste any more of your valuable time. Well deserved. I chose it. Oh, ta. Ta very much. I wish your husband a speedy recovery. Thank you very much. Shall I have to sign for that money? What's your name? Cecilia. Nurse Cecilia. That's beautiful. I tell you something, Nurse Cecilia. I think you've got one of the most unforgettable faces that I've ever seen. I mean that. Oh, don't worry. I don't think of you as flesh and blood at all. I think of you as a saint. <laughs> One has to do much more than I to be a saint, Mr. Watkins. Well, I dispute that. I've been watching you when you haven't been looking. You're an inspiration to a sick man with your ready smile and gentle touch. I can see why you embrace the faith. No single man deserves you. Thank you. If ever you want your photograph taken, you know you can always come Ah, you're feeling better, Mr. Watkins? Well, a, li a little better, thank you, yes. Good. Then you can go. Go, but I'm, I'm still very weak. Oh, naturally. You've been through a tough one. You'll have to take things quietly for quite a while. Now, I'll ask Nurse to fetch your clothes. What do you mean? Right away? We need the bed, I'm afraid. Like chucking you out. Aye. Seems like it. Not before one final game of cards, though, eh, yeah, Mr. Dooley? They can't deny us that pleasure. Same stakes as before. I'll deal. So you'll be a press photographer now, will you? Well, I'll give it a go, Arthur. Then you'll be able to see my stuff regularly in the newspapers. Oh, I'll miss you, pal. You come and visit me, won't you? Oh, you'll be all right, Arthur. You'll be out of here in no time, Nick. You're some of us, you know. I'm oh, not feeling so good lately. Take your trouble. But I've got to get out of here, you see. I've got things to attend to at home. Aye. You wouldn't care to help me, would you, pal? Well, I'd like to, Arthur, but I'm likely to be a bit busy, you see. Well, I'll make it worth your while. Aye. Well, we'll see how we go. Another card? Oh. 
Yeah, no family, you see. I'm a bachelor. Spent all my life dodging women. And there was plenty to dodge, I can tell you. Oh, yeah, but there was an all, Arthur. I've, I've been seeing how some of these nurses have been looking at you. Still, be handy to have one now. Aye. To look after things, I mean. That or a good pal I could trust. Aye. Another card? Please. Oh, what a shame. Now that's sixpence plus the two and nine. You already owe me three and three final tally. All right, Arthur. What's your Tom? Hello. Hello, Mr. Dooley. Has he been robbing your blind uh, again? Here, I've got to take you home, Tom. That was a quick recovery. Oh, I'm far from recovered. They just need the bed, that's all. Here, Mrs. Tell him to come and see me. I've got things of value and interest. Have you, Mr. Dooley? That's nice. Yeah, of course I'll tell him to come and see you. You'll come and visit Mr. Dooley, won't you, Tom? Oh, yes, I've no fear of that. Tell him to come soon. Yeah, of course I will, Mr. Dooley. Have no fear. Here, do you want these peanuts I brought in? Go on. Oh. What, Tom? How much is that then, mate? Oh, that'll be nine minutes, please, love. Hey, on then. Thank you very much. Oh, well, that. Come on in, Tom. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry, Tom. I didn't know you was coming out today. I had to walk it. All of them was going to throw me on the street otherwise. Hang on, Tom. Now, you go and sit down. I'll make you a nice hot cup of tea. I wanted a bath. Where's the prize money? Oh, I'll bid it. Come on, let's have it. Here you are. Going out for a celebration, then? You should be in bed, Tom. You're still convalescing. Where's the rest of it? I've spent some of it on living. Well, it won't last long, will it? Okay. You'll have to get that camera back and order some a meal ticket. Go and bring it back for me, will you? Do you want your boots? No, all? never mind the boots. Just get the camera back for me. Messenger brought this from the Daily Mail. Oh, the invalid's returned, eh? Soon be on your feet, Mr. Watkins. I don't like sickness in the house. Just give me my camera back, will you? Little, what's this? Mr. and Mrs. Watkins, with the compliments of Cyril Warboy's features editor, Daily Mail. Read his letters. Look at this lot. Hellfire. Hey. We're famous. He says we've hit the jackpot. Rouse the nation's conscience. Hey. Well, he'll, he'll have to employ me now. Oh, look at this. Hey, hey you've got, you got an offer of marriage from a curate in Grimsby, yeah? Oh, this one's from a Labour politician. He wants me to stand on his platform against the government in the next election. Yeah, you've got well, to watch those. Hey, that's better, look. There's an offer of a job here for you. Oh, no, no, second thought. What job? Dear Madam, we're in a position to offer you lucrative employment for a period of one week only, Mr and Mrs Green. Do you think it means domestic? No, I don't. Lucrative employment, you know what that's likely to mean, don't you? What, in Addington? It's Mr and Mrs. Aye, that's just to trap you, that is. Just forget it, will you? Oh, look at this. Now, isn't that touching, eh? A widow's mind. Excuse me, is this Mr and Mrs Green's residence? Yes. I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm the poor young widow of Peckham. Oh, do come in. Hector, she's here. All right, Grace. Come in, dear. Oh, heavens, yes. You look every bit as in need as your picture indicated, doesn't she, Hector? Yes. Yes, indeed. Before my husband explains uh, the nature of the work, 
I expect you'd like a nice hot bath and um, a change of uh, clothing, wouldn't you, dear? Oh. Oh, yeah, wouldn't half, Mum, ta. Come with me, then. Most kind. Mr. Watkins. Uh, Watkins. Uh, Watkins. Watkins, that is correct, I guess. Sit down. Thank you very much, you need to. You uh, took this picture. That is right, I guess. Lady Y. Oh, it's all right. The cat's out of the bag, she told me. Strictly speaking, I should have disqualified you since it was the real thing that was the purpose of the competition. However, Violet here was so overcome with pity and I was busy with more pressing matters, so uh, the thing slipped through and you won. As, as were your readers. Beg pardon? Overcome by pity, judging by the correspondence, you know, justifying your choice, sir. Oh, you want to be a press photographer? That is why I am here, sir, yes. It's an arduous life. You don't look very fit for it, frankly. Oh, he's just recovering. Ah, uh, that's Thank right. Thank you, Violet, I am aware. Have you brought any more of your stuff along? Uh, well, no, no, I, uh, I thought that spoke for me. <laughs> you did, did you? Oh, any kid can press a ball, take a snap that might, buy a flu, be a wonder of the world. I can assure you, Mr. Warboys, that that was no fluke. Years of practice, eh? Uh, well, Look, Watkins, what I want to know is, can you use your elbows to hang onto your equipment so your plates aren't smashed while you're snapping some adulterous bishop in flagrante with a chorus girl whose sole desire is to break every bone in your head? Oh, put it another way. It's your wedding anniversary. You've had a skinful. You're falling out of the dog and whistle with your missus. And I want pictures of a night fire at a garment factory in Silverk. Or the Kaiser on a private visit to Windsor. Or a gas explosion in Bermondsey. Or the earthquake in Messina. Because that's the kind of man I'm looking for. I'm looking at you sitting in front of me now, I must admit, having the gravest doubts, my lad, the gravest doubts. Well, I, I don't think that's quite fair. No, it isn't. No, not fair. Not looking at me now. <laughs> I mean, to be frank. To be frank I... with you, Mr. Watkins, to be brutally frank, your health is not the only consideration. It was the subject, not the quality of the photograph, which stirred the nation's hearts. Really? It was an ordinary photograph. I've got ten men on my staff. It could have taken better. <sighs> the subject you struck lucky with. Now, I've done the courtesy of meeting you. As winner of the competition, I was obliged to do so. Now, uh, if you'll do me the courtesy of leaving, I am rather busy. I, uh, th I think you might uh, live to regret this, Mr. Warboys, because, you know, I've got several interviews with rival tabloids. Uh, I wish you good luck with them and good day to you. Look, I... I, uh, seem to be out of cigars, Violet. Yes, Mr. Warboys. Hello, Tom. Where have you been? Shopping. Thought we'd have a nice dinner. Build your strength up. Shopping what, all afternoon? Thought you was going to see our war balls. Yeah, I did see him. Didn't want me. Oh, Tom. Said I was no good. You know why? Because they're jealous, that's why. What, 400 and 
23 readers can't be wrong, can he? I mean, I counted them. Well, you mustn't give up just because of one rejection. I am not giving up. Don't you worry. If they're not convinced by that one photograph, I'll go out and take some more when I'm stronger. I got a talent for faces, not just yours. I take old book of them. Yeah, that's it. You show them. When you've been where I have, to the brink and back, you'll get a true picture of things. See all your life spread out. You'll see all the triumphs and disasters. What am I in your life? A triumph or a disaster? No, no, I am being serious. So am I. It's a solemn moment. A humbling moment when you see your true place in a cosmic scheme of things. You see, it's like... Like he was up there in space, looking down at this world from a different planet, you see. Is it true that the moon's made of green cheese? What the hell are you talking about? You're heading a bit deep for me, Thomas. I am just trying to explain to you that I... I made a vow. If I was spared to approach things differently, to stop chasing rainbows, to sober down a bit. Where did you say you've been? Shopping. I don't believe you. Are you calling me a liar? Yes. You've been up to something. You've gone all pink in the face. It's all right, I don't mind one way or the other. It's all right, I'll come clean with you. I was going to keep it a surprise, but I've... I've got myself a bit of a job. Only temporary, just to help out till you get back on your feet again. Job? What job? A dental nurse. It's a very nice establishment, Thomas. Respectable. Where? Um, it's just a bus ride away. It's only temporary, Tom. I thought you'd be pleased. It pays the rent. How much? I forget what they said, but I know it's fair. Look, if you don't fancy that, why don't you have a bit of this nice ham the butcher gave me, cos you was poorly? Paulie, don't you think you ought to go down and see poor old Mr. Dooley? No, I don't. You only start talking about Tottenham Hotspur, he's a bloody old new sense. Thinks a lot of you. No, he doesn't. He'll have collared some other poor patient by now. Now, he's got a face you could photograph. In fact, all of them there, especially that nurse Cecilia. Hey, you know, you might have something there. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, inf instead of famous last words, famous last expressions. Hmm? Well, I mean, there's all human suffering there, isn't there? And uh, there's all human compassion and kindness and concern. Yeah. That's a theme, see, that is. Yes. Yes, I might pop in there tomorrow. Hello, sister. Oh, are you the young fellow that was asking for me? Uh, Thomas, Thomas Watkins. You remember me? I, I, I had pneumonia on the other ward. Oh, yes. Well, I thought we cured you, Mr. Watkins. Well, you, you did, sister, and in gratitude, I've, I've come back with a mission to photograph your Trojan and devoted work for the newspapers. Good heavens, we don't allow that sort of thing. Newspapers, indeed. No, no, I don't think you quite understand, sister. I, I can get a lot of public sympathy, you see, maybe even political support to improve the facilities here. I mean, you must admit they need improving, don't they? Mr. Watkins, God in his infinite mercy and wisdom will find a way of improving facilities. This is a charity hospital, and we are not vainglorious. Well, if you don't mind me saying so, I think that's a bit... Short-sighted. I mean, you can't enjoy the conditions you're working under. I'd, uh, I'd like to have a word with the matron, please. Reverend Mother, oh, by all means, see her, but she'll tell you the same. God is our newspaper, Mr. Watkins. He speaks loudest of all. Excuse me. Tell the lot, then. Finished. Yes, thank you, dear. For this time. Would you like to come back if we need you again? 
Oh. Well, that depends, doesn't it? Perhaps we can write if you leave us your address. Uh, no. No, I might be moving on after my friend gets better, so I think it's better if I write to you and let you know where I am. Very well. Hector, the remuneration? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. <clears throat> Pa. Your salary as agreed. Thank you very much. Goodbye, then. Cheerio. Jolly well done, too. Oh, thank you. Glad to be of service. Hello, nurse. Hello. No, nurse Cecilia. You remember me, Th Thomas Watkins? Yes, yes, of course. I, I was looking for Arthur Dooley in the bed next to me. You've moved him, have you? Mr. Dooley? Hey. Oh, yes, I'm afraid he passed away. No, 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 he can't. I don't know. No, Arthur Dooley. I'm sorry. He passed away? But you... It was quite chipper when I left him. His heart. He slipped away very peacefully. Oh, but he did mention your name. You mentioned me? Yes. Oh, well... Mr. Watkins! Oh, it's all right, sister. I'm, I'm not taking photographs. I was just... just visiting. Mr. Dooley, sister. Didn't he leave Mr. Watkins something? Dooley? Oh, yes, yes, he did. I'll be with you in a minute. The old devil. You know, I bet he just wanted me to clear it up for him. Well, I'm done if I'm gonna do Hang that. on, hang on. The garage itself is useful. Aye, if it belonged to him, which I very much doubt. Yeah, this lad is not bad. Aye. It's the one he lent to the top of Gooley. Tom, I think I found a Tottenham goalie. You what? Look, it's a football game. Hellfire, hey, that's in not bad condition. Where the hell did he get this from? Ask me no questions. Just give me a penny, will you? He wanted me to have this because I was his pal. He wanted me to make use of it. Those were his last words. God bless you, Mr. Dooley. Right. Go on, then. Off you go. That's it. Go on. No, no, let's have it. Go on, then. On the left. That's the one. On the left. Oh, no, that's one there. Not a fortune, but it's better than too big. Yeah, a lot more if you had let old Ark could take a 60 40 cut. Aye, well, he's got to work for it, hasn't he? By the way, I saw the camera, I saw you. Can I have your bath? Lovely. Let's go, Tom. Yes, it's not the most salubrious place in the world, is it? I mean, my machines are good, clean fun, not like some of his offerings. I mean, look at this stuff. Eastern Promise. Nights in the honey, Parisian ladies, that's all mine. Yeah, Phil, finish. Come on. Caught in the bath. You see, now that's a new one. How you like this sort of thing, do you? Me? No, no. I just see them as rivals to mine, that's all. No, you wouldn't catch me looking at that. I'm very glad to hear it. 